Every day, we learn more and more about this awesome planet we call home. It's filled with hidden secrets and buried treasures. It even has several desolate and brutal terrains that haven't been named yet. There are places that have been virtually swallowed by the Earth, one of which is Antarctica, the frozen ice continent. Thanks to global warming, many lost treasures have been rediscovered. But should we really be that grateful? And in today's video, we're giving you a roundup of the top 10 amazing discoveries that have been found buried in frozen ice. And no, they aren't aliens or zombies. Well, actually, just watch this video to find out. But first, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notification bell on so that you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Let's begin! A 10,000-foot mountain range Antarctica is cold and pretty much covered in ice. You might think that makes Antarctica boring, but it turns out that beneath all of that ice is a mountain range. The mountain known as the Gambertsov Mountain is no stranger to various scientists, but seeing as it is buried in just about a mile of ice, no one knows much about it. Even though we have known about the existence of the mountain for 50 years now, it is only recently, due to imaging technology, that we can look under the ice. Turns out the ice is hiding a great deal. A series of mountains, some over 10,000 feet high, all sprawled across 750 miles. Back in the 2000s, researchers spent a lot of time flying over that range, covering about 74,500 miles with their ground-penetrating radar, collecting data and mapping mountains. The range is said to look like the Alps. Magnetic anomalies have also been detected, which suggests that this mountain range might be made of billion-year-old rocks, at around the time dinosaurs were the kings of the world. An anthrax-infected reindeer corpse Global warming in 2016 resulted in a heat wave that led to the thawing of a decades-old reindeer carcass in western Siberia. The death of the reindeer was not due to natural causes, as the body was infected with anthrax. The reappearance of that reindeer led to the death of 1,200 additional reindeer that were nearby. It's believed by scientists that not only did the reindeer fall victim to the infection, it also passed it on to the nearly 15,000 people who lived a nomadic, reindeer-centric lifestyle which does sound kind of cool, except for the anthrax, of course. About 40 people were hospitalized with symptoms of anthrax when the reindeer carcass resurfaced. Since a similar kind of anthrax has been weaponized, the Russian government immediately sent specialists to contain it. While we don't know what other dangers lay hidden under those icy plains, as global warming continues to affect that region, it doesn't look so good, does it? An Iron Age Tunic No doubt, while hiking on a trail, you will find strange discarded items of clothing. A shoe here, a sock there. It's completely normal. People have been doing that for generations. Thanks again to global warming, archaeologists have found in the Norway glaciers that the Iron Age people also dropped a couple of things that they could not be bothered to pick up. The mountains of Oppland County in Norway turned up over 2,000 artifacts. That area is rich in artifacts as it was once a major path for the ancient ancestors. A lot of the recovered artifacts have been things like arrowheads and horseshoes, but several unique items have also been discovered, like middens found in 2011 by researchers from the University of Oslo. The Norwegian University of Science and Technology also found a tunic dated back to between AD 230 and AD 390, lumped up and covered in equally ancient horse poop. Apparently, these people didn't really care much about littering. Millions of grasshoppers For those familiar with the history of the American Midwest and West, you know that grasshoppers have this annoying tendency of ruining things. Well, they even ruin an entire glacier, too. The Grasshopper Glacier is a mile-long, half-a-mile-wide glacier just outside Cook City, Montana, filled with millions of grasshoppers. The Montana Office of Tourism says that an analysis done in 1914 on the grasshopper specimens confirmed that they belong to a species that has been extinct for about 200 years. It is believed that the ill-fated swarm was passing over the mountains and were unfortunately caught in a snowstorm. They died and froze into the glacier for many years and were covered under several blizzards. Also in Beartooth Mountains of Montana, not only is there a grasshopper glacier, there is also a hopper glacier. And because it is apparently really difficult to think up new names, a second grasshopper glacier. An entire World War I battlefield. Despite how it has been romanticized, war is a terrible thing. Back in the early 1990s, global warming melted the glaciers around northern Italy's town of Peo. The melting revealed several artifacts from decades ago, from love letters to diaries to bodies of the soldiers who died fighting in World War I. According to the news website The Telegraph, the cold and avalanches killed more people than the war itself. Thousands of soldiers, many of them no more than teenagers, 
perished in the mountains and their bodies were never discovered. The glaciers then melted, revealing their mummified bodies. In 2004, a local mountain guide found three Habsburg soldiers on the mountainside. Historians have uncovered several artifacts, like an entire cabin filled with ammo boxes, steel helmets, and clothes underneath the ice. Other artifacts like half-dismantled engines, photographs, newspaper clippings, pieces of trench art, and so on have also been uncovered. Some of the bodies of the soldiers discovered have been identified and hopefully brought some closure to the families that have wondered for decades. One fish eating another While some discoveries change history as we know it, some are so bizarre that it leads to several outcries of fake news. This is one of such discoveries. Footage which made its way around the social media sites came from two brothers who went fishing on Indiana's Wawasee Lake. While there, they saw what looked like a northern pike in the middle of eating a base, and the pair of fish appeared to be frozen in place. The story was so weird that no one believed the pictures that were posted. To prove they weren't lying, the brothers posted a video of themselves cutting the fish out of the frozen lake. The best possible explanation is that the pike choked on the base, died, and then became frozen. 32,000-year-old seeds that were resurrected if you could bring back something from the past, what would it be? Well, whatever your answer is, it probably would not be plants, right? Well, the Earth thinks differently. Scientists have been able to grow plants from the materials taken from 32,000-year-old seeds that have been encased in ice, hidden there by… ready for this? An Ice Age squirrel. Yep, true story. If you think this is from an animated movie, we forgive you. We did too at first. But this is one of those weird times where reality mirrors fiction. National Geographic says a team of Russian researchers found the squirrel's stockpile of seeds frozen along the Kalima River. By the time the seeds were discovered by the Russian researchers, they were already 124 feet underneath the permafrost layer. Luckily, scientists were still able to recover viable plant tissue from within the seeds. Those seeds were then germinated, and they produced flowers that provided a whole new crop of seeds. We now incredibly have, in this modern age, flowers from the Ice Age era. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 10 amazing things discovered in frozen ice. While a few of these things on our list may seem like the prequel to a horror movie, some are pretty cool, and they give us a much better insight to how our ancestors lived their lives. Otzi the Iceman Okay, do you think you have an awesome vacation story? I don't think anyone's story can top these two hikers, Erica and Helmut Simon, who discovered Otzi. They originally reported Otzi as a victim of a modern-day mountaineering accident. However, that could not be any further from the truth. Otzi possibly lived between 3100 and 3370 BC. He has since been extensively studied and found to have at least 19 relatives, still all alive and living in the Tyrol area of Austria. His life apparently was not an easy one. He had advanced gum disease, hardened arteries, gallstones, high levels of arsenic in his system, and suffered damages from frostbite. Interestingly, the findings show some similarities between the modern man and Otzi. Otzi had several tattoos that are believed to be connected to acupuncture. He also carried an axe, which turned out to be from Tuscany, which is hundreds of miles from where he was found. According to Gizmodo, his last meal, Ibex, had been dry-cured similar to the way we make bacon. Have a vacation story that rivals the Simons? Do tell in the comment section below! A 25-million-year-old lake filled with life In 2010, some Russian scientists thought it would be a good idea to drill into ice, and that's what they did. Two miles into the ice, they discovered something amazing beneath the frozen landscape. The direct opposite of ice, a huge lake. The discovered Lake Volstok is the biggest subglacial lake in the continent. Now, that just sounds like something that should never even exist, right? What makes it seem even more like a sci-fi movie is that when the samples taken from the lake were tested, they found alien life. Well, kind of. BBC reports say that Lake Vostok has existed for millions of years in isolation, and the bacteria found in the analyzed samples are quite different from the bacteria the world is familiar with. Seems like the opening scene of a horror movie about a new virus ravaging the world. But the skeptics say the samples tested must have been tainted by the drilling fluids. In 2015, the same team tried again and found another mysterious alien-like type of bacteria. And they still weren't done. In 2016, new scientists announced the discovery of another lake buried under the Antarctic ice sheet that is not only similarly isolated, but also contains the potential to harbor life forms much unlike anything else on Earth. Do you think the scientists should continue searching, or should they stay as far away from the Antarctica as possible? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. A Fish Lizard Graveyard 
We all know how cool dinosaurs are, so we can only imagine the excitement this group of researchers felt when they discovered an early Cretaceous-era graveyard that has been preserved perfectly in a Chilean glacier. The international researchers went to the Torres del Paine National Park in Chile and discovered 46 complete specimens of creatures they called ichthyosaurs. We will just call them fish lizards. Those fish lizards date as far back as 100 to 150 million years. Speculations abound that there was a fairly large accident that buried the fish lizards in sediment and then in glacier. The entire group possibly got all caught up in an avalanche. While these fish lizards lived peacefully around the dinosaur age, they died first during what the scientists are calling a global depletion of oxygen. You made it this far with a smile on your face? Why don't you go ahead and give that like button a click? Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. See you in the next one!